Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Fusion. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to solve PYQs. You might be having some PYQ book. So how to solve PYQs in a good manner? How to utilize that particular book in a very good manner? So the first question would be coming that, sir, which PYQ book is the best? Which PYQ book should I buy? So for that, I have already made a video. You can go to YouTube and type PYQ book Prep Fusion. What you need to type? PYQ book Prep Fusion Himanshu Agarwal that you can type. So one year late, one year back or 1.5 years back, so I have made the video there. I have told which PYQ book you can buy and there only one book I am not reviewing. There are three to four books I have reviewed there and there I have told which PYQ book you can buy. Pros and cons I have told. So based on that, you will be able to make the decision. Okay. Now, now the question would be coming that sir, how to solve the PYQ book? So let's just say this is a PYQ book. This is the PYQ book that you are having. Now in this PYQ book, there will be first questions would be there. Then there will be answer key and then there will be solutions. So three parts are there for a particular chapter. Questions, answer key and the solution. So whatever the solution that you are having, your first task would be, so whatever the solution pages you are having, you will staple those pages. What you will do? You will staple those pages. Now when you solve the PYQs, you are not going to see any solution. You have the answer key, you can match your answer, but you are not going to see any solution. Why is that so? Because when you are studying the subject, at that time you sold some class example, right? Then your teacher, your educator gave you DPP and assignment. Then he gave you the solution of DPP and assignment as well. Then you attempted the DPP, whichever the question you couldn't solve, you saw the solution and you were happy with that, right? In the DPP, if I was not able to solve the problem, I was looking at the solution, I was learning the concept, all good. Then again, next question, I am not able to solve the problem, again saw the solution, learn the concept, again proceed to the next one. So this is how I was proceeding when I was solving DPP or the assignment or with respect to the class example as well. So there you are not actually putting much effort because there you are in the learning phase. But you will come to the PYQs once you are comfortable with the complete chapter. Once you are comfortable with two to three chapters of a particular, of a particular subject, after that you will come to the PYQs. So in the PYQs you need to put your complete efforts. You cannot take PYQs lightly. So when I am solving a particular problem, I tried solving it, I couldn't solve it. Let's just say I tried solving it, I, I couldn't solve it. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to revise the concept of that particular problem. I will see if that particular concept is there in my notebook or not. So I will try revising it. If I don't find that particular concept in the notebook, I will try searching it somewhere. Anyhow, I will put all my efforts for that particular problem. And, and if I'm not able to get anything out of it, then I will click the picture. And if you are enrolled in the course, certainly you would be added in a doubt solving group as well. So I will click the picture and post that doubt in the doubt solving group. So there my educator may clear my doubt. Or it might happen that some student can clear my doubt. And if you are someone who is studying from YouTube, then you can post in Telegram groups. You can join our Telegram group. More than 10,000 people are there. Roughly around 10,000 people are there. And uh, I also try to take most of the doubts, but I cannot promise, promise that I will be taking all the doubts. But most of the doubts I try to take on my own. So you can post their doubt. But when you post a doubt, put your effort there. Like you need to tell whatever the calculation you have done. It's not that I tried solving a problem. I couldn't solve it. Click the picture and posted it. That is the worst way. You are not learn, You are not going to learn anywhere there. Anything is there. Okay. You are not going to learn anything there. You saw a problem. You tried solving it. You couldn't solve it. You again try. Whatever the concept that you have studied. Whatever the things you have studied in a particular chapter. Try applying everything. Tell your approach. Post the question. Tell your approach. And then ask the educator that sir. How I can proceed in this particular problem. Without seeing the solution. Without seeing the written solution or the video solution. The written solution and video solution will be stapled. And now your educator can help you out. So in that manner, you will proceed. It's not that 100% of the PYQs you will not be able to solve. If you have studied from a good resource, then at least 60 to 65% PYQs you would be able to solve. In rest of those PYQs, you need to put the effort. So when you put the effort in problem solving, your problem solving skills improve. A lot of people say that, sir, we have solved the PYQs, but we are not able to solve the problem in the examination hall. You actually did not solve the PYQs in a good manner. So this is how you need to solve the PYQs. In this manner, if you solve the PYQs, for one problem, you will put so much of effort, you will clear so much of path. One of the paths will help you in the examination hall. Let's just say there is one question and this is the answer. If I directly see the solution, this question was there, this is the answer was there. I am not able to solve the particular question. So I directly saw the solution. So I, I cleared only this path. I cleared only this path. Very straight part it is. It is. And if I work on this path, I find it very amusing, I find it very easy and I will be happy. But only this path is not going to help you in my examination. If I don't see the solution, if I don't see the solution, I will clear these kind of path. I will go these kind of path. I will go here, I will go there, I will go here. 
now these one of the path may help you in the examination hall so this is how you solve a particular problem and when in the back of the mind you have the pressure that i don't have the solution of the question because the solutions are stapled then you will put your brain into the mode that you are going to put in the examination hall because in the examination hall as well you are not having the solution in the examination hall you are not even having the answer key as well right at least here you are having the answer key after that you will go to the test series so there the complete pressure would be there neither answer key nor solution so in that manner your preparation goes so dpp and assignment least effort effort is there because you just need to solve the problem not able to solve see the solution then you come to pyqs greater effort is there try solving it couldn't solve again try solving it study the concept put the doubt in the telegram group or in the whatsapp group try getting the answer try learning the concept and then proceed with the solution now once you are done with the complete chapter once you are done with the complete chapter now even after posting in the telegram group or whatsapp group even after all the efforts there would be some questions which you might not be able to solve so for that now you will open the staple so for all the questions you can see the solution now in that manner if you proceed in the pyq solution your problem solving will increase drastically i can guarantee you this thing but put the effort have the pain if you just couldn't solve a problem and you, if you just see the solution you are actually not learning anything you are not learning any single thing there and if you don't learn if you learn in this manner then in the examination hall you, you are not able to solve a particular problem and these kind of things happen in test series as well sir we have done all the pyqs but we are not able to score well in the test series the reason is you don't have the problem solving skills and problem solving skills will build up by this method only so put the effort put the complete required effort once you are done with the complete chapter okay sir i have put my all required effort now i am done with this complete chapter now i can open the staple and see the solutions you will have a very very clear idea in the examination hall that how to proceed in a particular problem and believe me guys this is how it will work okay so have the pain when you are solving the problem go through the anxiety go through the stress look guys if it is going smooth if you feel like that sir my preparation is going very smooth i am enjoying my preparation then you are probably doing it wrong you may enjoy the lectures right because in the lectures teacher is putting his own effort his complete effort to make you enjoy the lecture to make you understand the concept but when you solve the problem it might happen that there would be stress it might happen that there would be frustration there would be anxiety you would be cursing yourself you would be scratching your head all these things would come and if all these things are coming then be happy guys you are actually studying now and if you are just following the easier path then you are not going to do well that's for sure okay so all these things are the part of your preparation the gate examination is a journey of one year it is a long marathon and in this complete marathon easier roads will not come tougher road will also come easier road will also come the road having anxiety the road having happiness the road having stress all these kinds of roads will come and if you are able to cross all these roads then you are certainly going to get into iits bsu or your whatever the desirable desirable thing you want to achieve from this particular examination okay so yeah that's it that's it about my from my side and i hope you have got the clear idea how to solve a particular pyq book thank you very much